neither here nor there. We are underway. Hannah Billiter low and flat right at Mary Schroll. The tip by Crow Marty, and we are going. Mortensen, Schroll with the dig. She's number one in the Big 12, five a set. And Jelly Sear out of the back row right away. How, how about the senior season for Sear? Not a great match, seven kills at 0-4-2, but 13 digs. She has a team high 2.46 passing grade out of three. She's legit. She is. She's really critical to this team. So steady. Into the net for Stroll, who has experience playing here, not just last year, but she was at LMU for a few years ago, competing against BYU in the West Coast Conference. So if anybody knows this gym on that side, it's JJ Van Neel and Mary Stroll. There's Ellie Mortensen, the freshman from Draper, Utah, and Corner Canyon High School. And that one's just a bit too far. Well, two quick service errors for both these teams really shows that both teams are coming in knowing the one that wins the service battle is going to walk away with a victory. Argentina Un, fifth year from Sonora, Mexico. She is a dynamic setter, four years at Washington State. Tipped by Little, Arizona State into the net. Point BYU. Claire Little, the only one in the gym that knew it. And she celebrates. Crowd's going to be interesting tonight because it's a little less, fewer people than uh, normal due to the holiday, but it's more people than most gyms in the country <laughs> at the same time. And Shersty Strong, who we just mentioned, St. Mary's transfer has had a really nice fifth year for BYU. Low and flat, easy dig for Billiter. High for Little. Sear back over to Little. Cromarty wins the joust. Little keeps it alive. Free ball from Billiter. Boom. Somebody's into the net. Looked like Jeter. And that's the case. Those two net calls early on Arizona State. Pressing a little too much. And you'd like to see BYU try to get the ball to Camavore especially in transition as she's working hard to be up. She's got to really set the stage early and, and prove to be an offensive threat. A the service there from BYU as the ball goes out. Tonight's officials, Liz Knight, they are one up top, Kayleen Cragen down low, James Reese and Catherine Meekham are the line judges. They're a part of this play, 3-3. Jillian Neal. Now, everybody having issues. Neal is the best server. 23 aces, 0.4 aces per set. And what's so impressive is she comes off the bench to do it, right? She has to that's come wild. in, and J.J. Van Neal called her such a cold server, and so that's a rare miss. And that was a compliment. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the ability to come in cold and be off fire. Jeter, there you see, tough to stop. Had the net a moment ago. Gets the kill right there. The ASU... Offense. That tempo is as fast as anybody in the country. Really, really quick. And you can see, especially moving as they're on the move and can get the ball to those middles, it really disrupts those blockers. Ace for Jeter. 5 4, Arizona State. And that is the calling card of this team. It is aces per set, number one in the Big 12. And they really took it to BYU a year ago in the NCAA tournament here. Good pass up to Kemavor. Real Kemavor, when she gets a clean look, hard to stop. Just like Jeter on the other side. Well, and I think that's an interesting point, a clean look, which everyone knows Kemavor's going to get the ball. She's really going to get a clean look. She's <laughs> got to figure out, and look at there, it's almost like she has a, a commit blocker on her and still gets the kill. Up to Ung. Did that go through the hands of Morrison? I believe it did, no touch. And at 5-5, both these teams settling in. A lot of unforced errors, maybe a little nerves coming in, like we mentioned maybe off the top. Maybe a little too much candy pregame, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little sugar high, a little jitter, jittery. There's a lot on the line here. Yeah, I told you to stop eating beforehand. You would not. You just kept consuming the candy. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever your pregame routine is. From Marty, keeps it alive. Tipped over, touched by Ned. Kevin Moore. Somebody, Someone, yeah, someone did. We'll look at that in a moment as Sear goes out, and if Arizona State thinks it was BYU, they would pop up here, but they did not. There we go. Nobody in the moon and goal, goal took issue with that. When you run a 
tempo offense like this, you've got to nail that set. Yeah. And Ung does most of the time because she's got good passing from this squad. That's a perfect pass, and that is inside of the block. But that's really when on those perfect passes, that's usually when you don't want to set in the middle because you get that double block. But a great shot just down the front for Cole Heap. Fifth year from Colleyville, Texas. Indiana, first couple of years. Out there, Arizona State. Pryor inside. That's a big swing from Kate Pryor on the right side, who at times has struggled offensively, but against Colorado last week, eight blocks. And she really, Kate Pryor, would be a huge boon to this offense for BYU if they can get pin to pin and really get Pryor going. That's going to open up the rest of the net and the rest of the hitters. Ace as BYU takes the 9-6 lead from Lulu Uluave, the freshman from Hawaii. And her serve has been one thing she has worked so tirelessly on all season long. has just gotten better and better. Eighth ace of the year. Boom, slide. Uluave keeping it alive. Little out of system from the back row. I'm surprised the block wasn't up on that because Claire Little out of system is really good. And out of the back row as well. And she took more off of it, I think, than she would have expected. I think she was very happy and took the bounce that it did. The tape helped. 10-6, BYU. Remember, BYU lost in three, and it wasn't close in Tempe. So a 10-6 lead is what the Cougars were hoping going to jump out and establish here. There's Jelly Sear from Flower Mound, Texas. Fifth in the conference and kills per set. Bauer has to chase it high for Pryor. Way out. That wouldn't be high hands on Manute Bull. 10-8. Well, you can see BYU staying in the lead, obviously. Uh, still at two points, but they haven't been in system at all. We haven't seen a lot of sets to the middle. They haven't run tempo to the outside because they haven't been able to get a pass. There's a pass. Strong. Nice pass from Sear. Boom, quickly to Cromarty for the kill. You saw exactly what Arizona State does well. Good defense, quick tempo, strike on offense. Right, and that transition play. Sear so good out of the back court. She's able to not just pop that ball up, but allow Arizona State to really run a quick transition point. Arizona State plays like they have dinner plans after three. They're in a hurry. This one's real tight at the net. Tried to tool it off the block, but it goes down. And Arizona State has reeled off four in a row. 10-10. And it's always interesting to watch both these teams as they play. We'll show you BYU's in a second. Oh, Kate Pryor on the rosy line. How about that? Man. And a good play after a good pass, right? You get that pass up to the net, BYU has a lot of offensive options. Here's Hannah Billiter, junior from McKinney, Texas. Overpass, too high for Strong, trickles over for Oom. Cromarty quickly goes after it. The risk of going for it on two is you've really got to nail it. And sometimes you go up there and you're like, oh, man, that ball's further was, off the net than I thought. I, I think she was a little early, too, on the jump. She, <laughs> thank goodness she has hang time. But that play right there, that point for BYU is a missed opportunity. Bauer to Mortensen. From Marty. Oh, that one bounced off the head of Uluave. And now BYU out of sorts a bit. 6-1 run here for Arizona State after the Cougars were up by four. I think that's a great point. You look at these are plays that in August, you know, may have happened. But we're heading into November, and BYU needs to take advantage of every single opening and opportunity they have. System here for Mortensen. It's a simple game sometimes. One of the keys, coach, we hear almost every time. Serve and pass. Get that ball up to your setter. They can get hitters like Ellie Mortensen a good opportunity, and they can do things like that. And you push the ball all the way to the pin, allowing those outside hitters to just use that block out of bounds. First ball kill. Marty strong that time. Crushed it over the head of Bryn Covell. You're going to see something fun here, so... 
once Argentina Ung, the setter for the Sun Devils, gets to the front row, sometimes they make her a right side hitter. They bring up the defensive specialist, who's the backup setter, Bryn Kobel, and she will set Ung, the setter, on the right side. That's Kobel right there, pushes it over to Cromartie in the breadbasket of Little. It doesn't get it up, 13-13. Cromartie, if you're an NFL fan, certainly you've, you've heard the name. Her uncle is Antonio Cromartie, who played 11 seasons in the NFL, four Pro Bowl selections, 13-13. And here's Ung, who's out of the front row now. Little. Sear got a touch on it, went out. Claire Little held in check a bit in that first match with Arizona State. She's three for six tonight, only nine kills there. And Claire coming off her lowest hitting percentage at Colorado, but she played very good defense and served well, so she wasn't totally uh, you know, inept there. She was contributing in other ways. Here's Macy Short off the bench, who's become a very good server for BYU into the net that time. She served 27 times the last two matches. She's in the rotation now serving. 14-14 in set one. Every set one the Arizona State, well, excuse me, the two losses this year for Arizona State, they lost the first set. So if you're the Sun Devils, you're feeling like, that's an ace, that's in. You want to take that first one and establish some good mojo. And there's more of the Jillian Neal that we were expecting with that ace. They come off the bench, dial up ace with it, just <laughs> drops on that back line. That's the second one for Arizona State that's landed right in that spot. Bauer to Kemavor, pushes it in. So put it high off the block of Claire Little for the Cougars. 15s. And in order for Little not to get tooled on that ball, watch how she has to drop that left hand really press all the way back towards middle back to keep it from going out. Terrific first, block. First block for BYU tonight. One apiece. BYU hitting 353. Arizona State 188, yet it's time. Overshot Sear point BYU. Is that really fast offense? It's high risk, high reward, and just kind of missing connecting on that play as these two teams really try to find their groove heading to get close to that 20 point mark. Freshman setter Alex, Alex Bauer again for Sear. Bauer set her out, Unuave high for Little. Inside of the block for Claire Little. Four for six for the sophomore outside. Timeout Arizona State. Coach Van Neal feeling the momentum shift back to that BYU side wants to talk about. He becomes a hero every match. But when you're 20 and two, that's the case. Jeter, this is for 18. Troll with the dig. Ooh, quickly to sear off the block of Kemavor. And that's again that 16. defense from Arizona State where you feel like BYU has an opportunity to score and then a terrific defensive play puts the Sun Devils right back in the mix that they can transition and get that kill. Cromartie with four, Sear with two. Little inside of the block again. She's five for eight. Hitting a super high percentage in this first set and she will serve it up, BYU's best server. And that's two times when it's so quick to the outside, especially when you're middle moving laterally, it's really difficult to not only get up, but you've got to get up and over and press, and that's two times that BYU has taken advantage. When it's so quick like that, to the right side, you give Bailey Miller an opportunity. It's one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> in volleyball, you gotta, you yeah. gotta win your one-on-one. -on <laughs> and that's when you know if you're grading a setter, how a setter's doing. How many blockers does the, do the hitters have? And if they have one-on-ones all the time, that's a fantastic setter. Oh, well. Pryor winds up for Marty. With the dig, tipped by Sear. Bauer there, trying to stay out of the way. Free ball from BYU. Boom, slide, pounded! And I mean pounded by Colheed. Like she's mad or something. Colheed didn't need much on that. She's got <laughs> such a strong arm. That quick approach, just getting up 
and taking advantage of that huge seam in the block. We saw this from you in the 90s a lot, like angry hitting. Awesome. 18s. Mortensen looking for hands. Nope, 9. At one, and you're thinking, we need that. Yep. Every point matters, and you've got to take advantage of every opportunity that you're given. Joy just subbed Claire Little out. We're passing Kaiba Johnson in on the back row. Win Covell. Out the libero, Uluave. Mortensen, and it went off of Mortensen. It's yeah. point ASU. <laughs> ASU's like, wait a minute, that touched her. And that was a big point. Mortensen got it off the block, but into her. 2018 ASU. Who for everybody but the freshmen who were on the team last year, this is the team that ended BYU season on BYU's home court. Johnson with the tough pass, free ball from Mortensen. And how they did it last year was with very tough serves. Uluave, nice dig. Set over. Kemavor there, and how about Sear, who wants it back real quick. That was very low. <laughs> Below of the tape. Mortensen winds up and gets it to go. Big swing by the freshman, Ellie Mortensen, coming off of 12 kills at 345 at Colorado. And that point is a big one for BYU, mostly because that's a really long rally that BYU actually won. Arizona State has been the one to win those longer rallies with that great defense and transition offense. Against Utah, we saw a one minute, 12 second rally. It was awesome. Again, Cole Heat on the slide. Right now, unstoppable, man. She is crushing it, three for four. And the middle's on both sides of the court. You can look at how they are offensively and kind of compare. I think BYU not in a position where they're really utilizing their middles quite yet. You're 206. 417, that's kills, errors, attacks for Arizona State. The Marty blocked. Marty again doesn't get over. BYU says they didn't touch it. Ref says they did, so they'll keep playing. BYU can challenge this if they don't get the point. Pryor crushes it, yeah. Point BYU, no challenge required. 21-20, Kate Pryor. Game to five at this point. These two teams so tight, heading into the end of this first set, and Kate Pryor starting to get going a little bit, and you see how open it is. Big seam to hit into. If BYU continue to work those antenna, they can open up more court. Prior equaling her kill amount three from the last two matches. Just one by Ung. That's what setters do. Way outside from Marty. Good read by Billiter on Ung on the dump. Billiter keeps it alive. Strongest sends it over the net. Oh, but it all oh, a lift called against Shersty. BYU doesn't like it. That is a big call. Not you look a at the challenge score. Play either. Yeah, you look at the score, 22-20. That's not a lift. It felt like the whistle was coming before she even touched the ball, almost looking at the, the position her body was in and thinking, oh, maybe she'll have to throw it. That's a crowd reaction to ball don't lie <laughs> that was that's a rough one for BYU that's and a rough they've one. got to be able to bounce back here and try to they're yelling <laughs> ball don't lie 22-21 <laughs> Jeter yeah 23-21 a jersey's worth for Claire Little in Arizona State right now Little two for four, the nation's number five hitter in hit percentage. Argentina Ung. Where does Bauer go? Slide to strong off of Cromarty. Kept alive. This is for set point. Cromarty, oh, just tips. Had no block up. Little. Oh, Sear keeps it alive. What a play. Cromarty. Little, where's this ball going? Back to Little, of course. Cross court for the kill. 23-22, good defense by both teams there. That's a gutsy, gutsy point from both these squads. 
BYU comes up with a point they desperately needed. Claire Little getting it done. Six. It was a tough serve. She kept her team in system, and Sun Devils in great position. Jillian Neal has an ace. Low and flat. Gets BYU out of system. Little trying to make up for it. Yeah! No problem for her, man. How does she do that time and time and time again? You couldn't get more out of system than that. It's complete. Any of those three teams could be top 16 and host. Set two underway, BYU. Down a set, 25-23. And Cherstey Strong, perhaps still upset about the lift call, puts that one down. Well, and we talked about the middles off the top. Arizona State's middles had six kills combined in that first set. BYU's only two. And so they really want to get their middles going strong. That's her second kill of the match. Oh, that's a rainbow over there. Jeter blocked by Kemavor. That was the slowest developing play you'll see all night from the <laughs> serve to the swing. But then a quick set, though. It kind of was slow, it, quick. There yes. wasn't a lot of movement, but it was a quick. That's, yeah, that was fast. You're right. But not a lot of jumping involved no, just, or approaching. Just, we're on <laughs> just to the next. Standing. We're on to the next play. <laughs> and that is Oong swinging on the right side. Look at Kemavor and then Schroll. Seer giving something hittable. Schroll puts it over. Kemavor rises up. Oh, what a dig! How is no one there? No one was there. Okay, first off, Sear makes a great play to keep it alive. Schroll gets over to it. Why wasn't anybody over there? Was Sear too tired to get to that? She was near it. I don't know, but knowing Schroll, everyone on the court knew she was going to pop that ball up. It wasn't near her, yeah, no. Oong uh, was a little late to get it. That one falls, a freebie for BYU there. Into the net. So you saw a moment ago what I was talking about with when Oong's in the front row, now she's not. She's in uh, rotation one as the server. So it's kind of like a 6-2, a little bit, yeah. Kogo comes up there and sets her on the right side. That's really fun. It's, you don't see that too often. Power high for Little. Oh, Cromarty, one-handed stab. Set over, Jeter, and this one's going down again. So BYU with some scrappy plays right now to go up 4-1. Having some balls fall on a really tough defensive team in Arizona State. The only thing ASU doesn't really do that well is block, blocks per set in the conference. Everything else, they're really good. Little off the block. Schroll got that up. Man, she flies around. Cromarty. Oh, Kemavor straight down. BK has it her way as she does in this gym. And look at the difference coming into this second set with BYU really trying to establish those middles as we see a great dig from Schroll and then that transition from Kemavor. She gets up so high. Kaboom. Inside, out of bounds. So 6-1 the start for the Cougars here. Some BYU fans calling for a lift there, saying where's the lift that time? Here's Alex Bauer, the freshman setter for BYU, who's been fantastic. Jeter off the net now. Oh, that play developing was gonna be so good. You could see Jeter, she was almost coming parallel to the net and just missed, hit the top of the tape. And BYU continuing to roll in this second set. This is a bunch of ASU errors right now. Right. Off hands, and that's a clean point on that left side for Bailey Miller, the junior from Quinlan, Texas. Last two years at West Virginia. Little did she know when she was at West Virginia, she'd stay in the Big 12 when she transferred to ASU. Had the news coming a year ago, so obviously new, but when she was a freshman at West Virginia, she's not like, oh, I'm going to be in the Big 12 all three years. 
Nice pass by one of the BYU men's volleyball players in the crowd over there as Jillian Neal gets the ace. The boys hanging out. They had fun. They all dressed up as their coach, Sean Olmsted, <laughs> with mustaches and whistles at practice. 7 3. That is a nice serve. High and slow for Little. Was that going out or not? Kept the lock. Pryor inside of the block. Kate Pryor having a nice match. Four for six. And BYU up 8-3 in set two. And Alex Bauer doing a nice job. You see her going away from motion as she's running forward. She's setting it back and pushes it all the way to the antenna. When she's moving backwards, she sets it forward. That throws off the defense and opens up holes in the block. There's Little. His brother Ian plays on the men's team. Sear. Bauer. Mortensen off the hands. 9-3, Ellie Mortensen, 3 for 10 now as BYU goes up 6. And another terrific step from Bauer. As she's moving back, she's got to do everything she can to push it all the way to the antenna. Because if it dies even a little bit inside, you're going to get blocked. And so pushing it all the way allows Mortensen to go off the hands down the line. There was touch on that one for Bailey Miller. 9-4, Miller 3 for 9. I love the last two comments you made because the nuances of setting and the influence they can have as we take a look at the touch off of Mortensen are big time. In fact, BYU dressed up at the trunk or treat for all the BYU athletes as despicable me, right? Grew in all the minions. Well, guess who was Grew? Alex Bauer. She's running the show as the center. That was a double, but it's all good this year. Blocked by Mortensen. And the challenge, four, good buddy. Yeah, right now for BYU is just to keep that pressure on Arizona State. We saw a little let up in the first set that allowed the Sun Devils to come back in. The offense starting to go a little bit Arizona State's way, but BYU wants to hang on to this lead. It's a back row attack from Ung, who's like, wait, I'm, I think Ung, oh, they're, they're going to argue uh, you can't off argue the plane. That. Yeah. You can't argue that. He's even smiling. <laughs> oh, a yellow card given to, I'm guessing, J.J. Van Neel. We'll have to see. <laughs> He's just got a smile on his face. <laughs> Argentina Ung coming over. I'm not sure. We'll see officially who they give it to in a moment. But a yellow in volleyball is essentially just a warning. There's no points or real repercussions there. We get another one, now you're talking about a point. And sometimes you want your voice to be heard and it's worth it. That's the game you play. Luave off the tape, Sear up to Oom. Play a little, keeps it up, Mortensen to anybody. Bauer trying to place it, nicely done. Oh, Mortensen with the roof, 12-4. And that finish was great, but wow, Claire Little on the dig. What a save in the backcourt to keep that play alive because Arizona State had the whole court to end into. Nobody was up when Claire Little done the ball and Ellie Mortensen finishing it off. That one goes long. 12-5, sixth service error. Brigham Young. And here's Bryn Covell, redshirt freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina. Started at Texas A&M, transferred to Arizona State. Up the net a bit for Pryor from Marty. And good hustle, but ultimately down as Pryor continues. Five for seven. Did get confirmation. J.J. Van Neal did get that yet. This is what BYU's been hoping for for a minute. Prior trying to find some consistency, and so far so good. And 571 with five kills. Ung, quick to Sear. This time Little can't get it up. That ball is just incredibly fast. That set outside. If you are a blocker and you're not there, then Forget you have it. no hope. Exactly. So it's really important for those pin blockers to get up in good position because they're going to be the only ones. Goes long. 
Sear has six double doubles in a row. That's pretty good. You got to dig a lot of balls. And she has 12 or more kills in those as well. So she is a baller. Tonight, she's got four kills, five digs. And such a solid passer, too. Just an incredible passing outside. Highest passing grade on the team. That includes Liberos. Well, Marty looking for hands. Didn't get him. Out of context, and all people see is, why is he in a Jafar <laughs> costume, like in a month or something? <laughs> out of the media timeout. Oh, Martin. that's a Look great Look at that set. pass. Bauer. Little, yeah. Claire Little, 8 for 15. She's plus 4 on anybody else's kill total tonight. 16 to 6. What is this set right now for BYU, Amy? I think whatever it is, BYU just wants to keep the foot on the gas. <laughs> you know, you step on the court, sometimes things go your way, sometimes they don't. If you find yourself in one of those sets where it's all going your way, then you just try to keep it going. Marty's like... No, let's undo any of that <laughs> nice twirling you guys have going on here. 16-7. From Marty leading the way with five for ASU. Remember, BYU got swept by Arizona State, trying to get back in this match after losing the first set, 25-23. Certainly on their way, up nine, not over in set two. Little at Schroll. Ooh, real quick in the back row. That's the lowest back row set you're going to see. Free ball from Uluwave, <laughs> barely got over. Jeter off of Uluwave in the back row. 16-8. And so much of this quick offense is just a factor of it. it's not going to maybe come at you defensively hard, but the fact that it's so fast you're not in position defensively. That's a great point. Into the net from Stroll. I think that's a big point right there. That's a big miss. Arizona State trying to get some momentum back on their side. They've got to make a big comeback. And as BYU keeps pushing closer and closer towards the end of this set, Arizona State's running out of time. This Macy Short went to Snow, played at Southern Utah, back from a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to Guatemala for 18 months. Goes out this time. She'd found a nice rhythm the last couple of matches. Still seeking that tonight. 17-9. It's Argentina Ung. Plays on the Mexican, Mexican senior national team with Melanie Parra of TCU, who's one of the best players in the league. Down the line. High and slow for Little. Kept alive, and that one goes down. That was Roberto Rebello from Brazil in the match off the bench. And a missed opportunity there as BYU rotates into really their best scoring rotation and their toughest block with Little and Kemavor and then they're on the right side. They've got three going, that's tough defensively. Schroll again, keeping it alive. Just giving her teammates a chance to make a play. Oh, Schroll! Scott Sterling did over. Pryor off the block. Little. Point Arizona State. Back row attack. Little was in front of the three meter line or 10 foot line. But Little's in the front court. Is she not? She's been blocking. So what's, yeah, you're exactly right. Hey, that off was the off shoulder. the shoulder. That's a good move. I'm not sure what the call was. Was it Ellie Mortensen that hit that ball, maybe? I thought it was Little, but if it was Mortensen, yeah, she would be back row. A bit of confusion there. 18-10. BYU did not challenge, however. Right. They could challenge back row attacker. The checker of footwork. Was there a touch? There was. Point BYU in 19-10. So BYU six points away. Have a look. That's 10 kills now for Claire Little. Yep, off of Rebella. High and hard and deep. Oh, Curious George, Winnie the Pooh. The man in the yellow hat all here. Jeter, Pulled up by Uluwave. Look at that set from Bauer, but Pryor is stuffed. First block of the set, third of the match for ASU. And so quick, Chemivore wasn't an option. Out of transition, and then the block on Pryor. 
Little with the laser. Bauer has to bump it. It's off the set quite a bit. Reset off the block. Mortensen, Cromarty sky high. Over to Ung. Back to Cromarty. Kemavor is stuffed in the middle. Cole Heed got the touch. You see the Second and fourth place teams right now in the Big 12. Ace for Claire Jeter. Out of the timeout, her second of the match, fourth for ASU. That is the calling card for ASU. And I wouldn't say that they've been great tonight at it. No, but at clearly you can see everyone for BYU is on that right side of the court. And so that's where that serve's going to go to disrupt that. Ellie Mortensen in system makes it 20 to 13. If BYU tries to tie this thing up. And a good pass from Little. She knows that she's the target. She knows the ball's going to come right back to her. And she shakes off that previous error and comes back with a perfect pass. Mortensen's mom, Nina Puikinen, was a tremendous player here at BYU. Again, Cole Heed putting dents in this Terraflex. Man. Not all kills are created equal. Amy. No, that one was quick and fast. And what a good contact on the ball. And that's a tough one, I think, for blockers for BYU because you can't commit with that three because you're leaving open the quick set go to the outside. Strong to the back row. Here she's strong four for ten for the fifth year. We should mention, by the way, one of the other seniors for BYU, Alyssa Erickson, tore her ACL. She tore it last year. She tore it in the Utah match a couple weeks ago. She's out for the year. She's not sure if she's going to use her fifth year as that one trickles over for the ace for Hannah Billiter. So our best wishes to Erickson who is going through that. That's so frustrating. Yeah, that's really so frustrating. Devastating. What's not frustrating is an ace for BYU and Hannah Billiter who totally did that umpire. 22 14. So Marty pulls Ung out. Sear down the line. 22-15. Sears been pretty quiet. Four for 14, but five digs, two blocks. And she will serve with BYU up seven late in set two. And that's another example of how perfect that set has to be for Moon. All the way to the antenna. Rava cut high. Mortensen. 23-15 for Ellie Mortensen, 5 for 16. So and that was the shot right there. You see that set dying a little bit inside. So what Ellie Mortensen did was turned her approach and just beeline for, I'm going to hit it super sharp. And you've got to see all of this in 0.9 seconds. And react. Exactly. Another one off the tape. Slide to Cole Heed, perfectly placed. I think when you dent the floor with your first swing, obviously the defense is back on their heels, not expecting the tip. 23-16. Mary Schroll back home in Tempe after playing at LMU. Number one in digs per set in the Big 12. Little right at Schroll. Jeter, touched by Strong. Uloave high for Little. Still live from Sears touch. From Marty, nice swing out of system. Little pounds it. Set point BYU with a lot of room. Claire Little taking three different swings. She's been set 21 times. And we're only in the second set. 11 kills, Amy. Having a night. And the crowd is up. Out come the Sharks. There is left Shark from Katy Perry's Super Bowl performance. From Marty down the line. That was quick. Got that quick whip. The right hand, set point number two. Boone will serve it. We are all tied up. We knew this match was going to be good. Two very, very good outside. And they're just hammering that ball down the line. They have not adjusted the lighting back from what it was between the two sets. It is a little dark on the court here. I bet in a second they'll do that, but it is not what it normally is. Yeah, David Hyde on the BYU bench is saying, hey, turn on the lights. He just yelled over at uh, the table. There it is. 
Yeah, you thought you were struggling passing before. Try to do it I was in like, the dark. Where's o Arizona State? <laughs> Jeter on the overpass. 2 0 ASU out of the locker room. Some teams, op the break is so short, it's like five minutes. Some teams go into the locker room, some teams do not. BYU stays out. I think you've got to maintain your focus. And for BYU, this passing is just going to be so important for them. And they physically, it's not a huge thing, but mentally to stay focused. And here we are in the third set. They've got to be able to really dial it in and stay consistent. Bello gets after it, Little on the dig. Back row pushed by Little, Schroll there. Um, quick to Jeter. Jeter does not pound the ball. She puts it in the right spot. Right. And it is worth the same amount. Number five in the country in hit percentage. And really, really quick. And so the defense isn't set up. Like you said, Jeter just up fast and just throws that ball over. Oh, we're entering the twilight zone there. Strong tip up and over the block. That one went down. Well, and what a start from Arizona State. You wondered how they would come out after the break. Sun Devils are ready to go. Fear the fork, as they say in Tempe. Yeah, that one went down. Here's Mortensen. 18 aces this year. Starter is a true freshman. Boom. One on one for Sear. You can't allow Arizona State to be so in system because they're just too quick. And so blocking-wise, it's going to be one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one, and then you've got Alex Bauer there on the right side, a little bit undersized. It's really tough. Overpass, Rebello puts it down. 5-1 ASU. When does BYU call timeout? I think you want to as quick as possible to kind of stop this run. We saw what happened in the second set when Arizona State got down big to start. They could never come back. Didn't call a timeout in that situation, to your point. One-on-one -on -one down the line for Shersty Strong, 5-2. Well, there you go. If you're BYU, you want something to get the crowd back involved, get some momentum back, and try to work your way back in this set. A My really nice swing. My guess is 34-50. Uh, okay. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I'm confident I can get within 300. Tipped. Colheed a rare dig. Little is blocked. I think she said that was stupid. My bad. 6-2. <laughs> Tied it one set apiece. Well, and that should be a coverable ball. The way she should be able to transition that and try again. Little had some space. BK drew the block, pushed to area one. Quick to Little. Sear with the touch. Boom with the swing, the setter. Bauer blocked, hit back over by Sear. BK chucks it, Cromarty there. Slide, Coheed. BYU into the net. I think just little. tired. You know, the longer that. Have that you don't share with anybody. That we don't share? Yeah. Oh, no, we share. <laughs> Me too. Don't tell anybody. Anyway. Oh, I, I share with my kids. Yeah. Not oh. other people. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about, too. <laughs> Real Camavore with the kill. And for Camavore, that's really the first good swing, you know, we've seen in a few swings from her. She's been tipping a lot, but hasn't really been in system and found that groove. And that was a really nice one to the corner. BK, 4 for 11, three blocks. Bauer, deep corner and out. Yuri with two aces. But still trying to dial that in. Eight service errors for BYU. Down 8-3. That was a nice redhead to redhead right. cut right there. That was nice <laughs> by Scott Hill. Bauer. Bauer. High for Little. That's a heck of a shot. Bauer has to sprint over there like eight steps, puts it high straight up for Little who puts it down. And what Little's gonna do, watch out of her finish, she's gonna drop her thumb down to turn that. Mm. See how she finishes with the thumb down that lets her go wrist away. Great, great observation. Would have never, would have never saw. 
8-4. From Marty into the net, 8-5. That's how BYU won that second set. They got a bunch of freebies up front. If you're ASU, if you can just not give away free points, got to feel good about your chances in set three. Yeah, great point. They want to stay steady and just keep the pressure on, make BYU earn every single point. Into the net from Little. In set one, 12 ties, eight lead changes. In set two, zero of both. BYU just took the lead and never gave it up. That quick start becomes so important. A stroll. At Little, Bauer keeps it alive. Swing by Pryor. Jeter off of Uluave. If Uluave doesn't touch it, that's going to be a point for BYU, but it's hard to not when you're diving at that and you don't know if it's on the line. Right, you want to err on the side of being aggressive. You look at Alex Bauer breathing hard. She's really getting her steps in. Who said you don't run in volleyball? <laughs> well, ideally, your passers are good enough to win or put it up to you. But ASU, a good serving team. It's going to require... Getting around, Uluave passes it back over. For 11-5, Cromarty. Uluave high over her head to Mortensen, oh. and that's into the net from ASU. BYU, again, that's a freebie from the Sun Devils. Here, have the point. It is, and, for, and you can see Coach Van Neal just trying to keep his team focused and keep that pressure on. You don't want those ball handling errors. And for BYU, working to get the crowd involved, who's been a little quiet. I, I, th I think that sugar high. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. This is near the line, strong, trying to oh, put it down. Oh, that was right there. <laughs> Real low, Cromarty, strong. Ping pong around, pushed over. Bauer to Mortensen, stroll underneath. Back row attack for Sear, as little. Oh. That one goes right into Uluave, who so says she's okay. Little says, my bad. Seer just detonated this one. Look at that. Well, you look at the block Covell. for BYU. Nobody. No one even watching uh. the setter and seeing that the back row attack was an option. So if I'm Arizona State, I'm thinking, oh, let's run the Bic a little bit more. Mortensen up to Bauer. High for Pryor. Kate Pryor continues. Be good. Six for 11. I got the attendance. I was not within 300. You were closer? And it's lower. No, no, no. What I'm, is it? I was way off. 27.57. Okay. This, this is what you call a sparse night in the field house, but there are probably 320 teams that would beg for a crowd this big. And so supportive and yes. good. Just the fans they know are the game. fantastic. The ones that are here, they the real ones <laughs> on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Strong. Yeah. Cromarty playing some great defense for ASU in that rally all over the court, just using that speed. But BYU able to come back and get that win to keep working their way back, trying to close up and, and tie this back up. 11-8, Hannah Billiter. And a step in by Sear. From Marty on the right side is roofed by Mortensen, and BYU's back in this, 11 to nine. From Marty saw a big court to hit into, and then Ellie Mortensen lines up so well, drops that right hand right into the seam to shut that down. Whoa, Rebello. All the way from Brazil, crushing that one, 12-9. Bella is the fourth Brazilian to play at Arizona State. She had four kills against BYU. Coming off a good match against Arizona from last week, eight kills hit 389. Little watches that one out, 12-10. And Arizona State starting to not only continue with the quick sets, but pick up that intensity a little bit. They're hitting harder. That defense for BYU has got to be ready. Ali Mortensen, the freshman. Marty, good pass to Oon. Sear off the block. 
Billy Sear. Now a team high eight kills to go with eight digs. So she is pacing for that double double. Six in a row, it's going to be seven. Hands up. And two missed serves in a row from Arizona State. Just letting their foot off the gas just a little bit. Is BYU, can BYU take advantage? Is Brio Miller? Hasn't played the last couple of matches. In to serve here. Trying to find somebody who will serve it in, serve it tough. The sophomore from Orem, Utah, Mountain View High School. Here, dug up by Mortensen. Quick to little. Throw. Going real quick to Sear. Billiter. After the deflection. Kemmelmore, not a clean strike again. Off the block, Miller. Up the batter. The set on her stroll, a diving step. Oh! Oon kind of trying to tweak the ankle there for a second as Sear goes into the net. Point BYU. ASU was confused. They thought it was BYU into the net. I think they're going to challenge. Yep, they're challenging. They are challenging net. And a great right. up from Schroll. See the ankle kind of twist for Oong. She's walking around okay, not looking like she's in pain. So that's good. Oh, <laughs> that was Sear. <laughs> she hit that ball. So why? Why, why the follow through? Maybe she just thought it was both or before she did or something. If you, yeah, her face tells the story. Why would you allow your coach to still challenge them? Yeah, she turns. That one seemed one of the easier ones. However, it was Miller after that. And maybe that makes it worth it in some way, but you don't want to lose a challenge when you know you're going four. You may need both. So far, pretty quick moving match in that regard. Challenges and whatnot. There's Bryn Covell, Argentina Ung in. The front row, keep an eye on that. Becomes a hitter here. That was low and flat. Pushed over by Bauer, but out. Tough pass to her. Yeah, good 15, spot. 12 ASU. Trying to go deep to the corner there. And you talk about Oong in the front row. She hit for the first half of her career. Washington, she can do it all. She can yeah. play every single position. And so Coach Femiel was really excited to have the opportunity. Hey, when she's in the front row, let's have her swing. When she's in the back row, she's setting. I don't know that there's a better job in volleyball. That's pretty fun. So, yeah. in, so in row four, when she's front left, 61 kills. Row five, 25. Row six, 31. That's a lot of kills for a setter. And Whitney Bauer's like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> See Oong in the middle, swing right there. And this is a hittable ball for Claire Little, but not on Jelly Sears watch. Blocked by Pryor and Kemavor. And look at Pryor thanking Uluwabe, who got the dick. <laughs> well, and a great job from Pryor. We saw the last time ASU ran a pipe up the middle, no blocker at all. But this time, Kate Pryor and Kemavor were paying attention. They're up. And hey, there's a big seam in the block, but you go and you jump, and good things happen. 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, oh, Oom's like, nope. I don't need to swing. I'll just dump right here with the left hand. Argentina Ung. So she's Mexican. Her name's Argentina. So what's the story there? Her dad uh, liked watching Argentina play soccer. They were going to win the World Cup. They didn't end up winning it when she was, uh, you know, uh, his wife was pregnant with her and ended up naming her Argentina. So there you go. 16-15. This is all pre messy you know. He would have been, I guess, young at that point. But uh, Argentina, oh. Pac-12, Big 12, all of it at Wazoo, and now Arizona State. Blair Little, 12 kills to lead the match. Oh, Cromarty, up and at him. So fast. Like, like Spud Webb vibes there. <laughs> you've got a quick set, and then you've got a player who is so quick in her approach and her arm swing, just everything about it so fast. If you're a blocker, you have to be up even before the setter sets. In slow motion, it's like, she's like falling down to the earth <laughs> and like balancing a checkbook, which is like a super old reference. No one does that now. Punched over by Mortensen. Oong pushed it over. Mortensen! <laughs> what a tip, at least 35%. 
Well, and for that to fall, Mortensen didn't have an approach. She's just standing there pretty much. It's a great fall and good location. 17-16 in set number three. Arizona State has led the entire set. After 0-0, zero, zero, of course. Fryer spatches it out. Went high hands. It's the third hitting error. She's 6 for 12 now. And this set turning into a little more like we saw in set one. Just these two teams trading points really close, getting into the 20 point mark. 18 16 ASU trying to hold on here and go up 2 1. Strong off control, ASU into the net. One point set here at the end of set three. And a billeter, good point score for the Cougars from the service line is in. Boom, standing set to Rebello. That was pretty simple and easy for the kill, 1917. <laughs> if only the whole game, right? First ball kill, you talk to coaches about. That's your ideal. First ball side out for ASU, 64%. BYU, 68% right now. And here is Jillian Neal, whose dad, Stephen, played three Super Bowls with the Patriots. Off the block, over to the side, Mortensen, Schroll back over. A reset, slide to Strong, double block was up, down the line. Wow, that fell. Strong was very early on her way down, maybe drew the block a little bit, and then hit the ball behind her head, and still just able to hit it right in that corner. If you're a middle, either one of your corners is kind of your ideal. I guess everyone on the court. Never hit it to six, right? Isn't that Never what Karch said? Karch grab. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. BYU says they didn't touch it. Point given to BYU. ASU looks surprised. We may see a challenge here, but BYU's convinced it's theirs. I, I really think BYU would have challenged had it gone the other way. It's yeah. a tricky one. I think given the how far that ball bounced, it couldn't have been all net. But hmm, maybe. No challenge from J.J. Van Neal in Arizona State. We're tied at 19. He has yet to lead in this set. And they still won't lead. Jelly Sear, nine kills. You go with nine digs. You see how BYU, for their defense, just has each player jump with their prospective hitter. Strong in the middle is committing with the middle. She's up and jump before the set because you have to. There's no read blocking when you're mm. against a team that runs such a quick offense. Bailey Miller back in the match. will serve for Claire Jeter. Miller does not have an ace this season. 2019. The tie. Oong with the dig. From Marty. High for Sear. Billiter. Bauer. Little. And that one was high for Miller. Looks to be okay. 2020. Barbara Walters favorites. And here we go, all tied up. This is what you want. Game to five. Who can get it done at the end of the set? Real Miller to surf BYU on Halloween. A little combo play in a phone booth, dialing up Doctor Who there. Jelly Sear into double figures and kills. One dig away from her seventh straight double-double. You're right, that ball, again, just so fast. You're running a three, you're running a go. They're pretty much right on top of each other, and it looks like the same set coming out of the setter's hands. And Cobell, room in the front row. Little, again, out of system kills. I wish, I'll have to hit up Huddle, volley metrics. Out of system kills for Claire Little. Like, what percent of her kills are out of system? It feels like it's a third, which would be a high number. What's impressive like. is it It feels like it's her best swing. Which That's is, wild. It's crazy. Alex Bauer. 21-21, set three, tied at one apiece. Tip over, look at Bauer. Avoid going under. And then Little on the overpass. And BYU, for the first time in the set, takes the lead. 
Timeout ASU. That was so fast. Alex Bauer getting that ball up and then stopping quickly so she doesn't go under the net. And Claire Little on the ball there to finish it off. One on one, Uluwafe. And then that's a swing on two for Bauer. Uluwafe again. Kemabar, set point. 24-21, and how about this 4-0 run by BYU in the 20s? Well, and Ululave all over that play. Two huge defensive plays for the freshmen. That gets the crowd on their feet. Second and final timeout for ASU. Left Shark loving it. Slide, Coheed. Oh, Kemavor with the whiff. And you hope if you're BYU that doesn't come back to bite you right? instead of resetting it. Well, I think Cole Heat is the one you want to get the ball to. They've been very good setting quick out to the pin, but Cole Heat has been fantastic and a little quiet in this set. Sear, no one drops. Little. Blocked by ASU, still alive. Timeout BYU, two in a row from the Sun Devils. It was two. Dutch. Oh, it was. The right hand yeah, of Colheed. Just by a finger. That's how it was really stopped that. They've been steady. They get aced, they come right back, and they stick a pass. They don't let the wheels come off, and I think that shows a lot of maturity. Claire Jeter begins set four for BYU and Arizona State, a top 20 matchup in the Big 12. Oong, um, quickly for Sear. BYU into the net. 1-0 Arizona State. BYU did not lead that set until the 20s, until 22-21. ASU controlled that thing, but lost the set 25-23. Welcome to volleyball and sports in general. Deliver. High for Ung. The back one, and BYU into the net again. Back to back. And that ball was falling, obviously. But BYU two quick net calls. That tends to mean you're a little tired, right? Things start to get sloppy. They need to dial it down. We talk to Coach Olmstead, and she always says, we want our team mentally and physically to prepare for five set matches every time they're on the court. And we want them to be in shape mentally and physically and be able to handle it. They don't do anything different to adjust for that. They just try and do what they always do, which is, okay, we got to watch jump counts early in the week and make sure we're conditioned. And they hit the weight room hard, of course. So you've always been in a lot of five sets. They're used to it now. Two and five this year in five sets. All five losses by two, unbelievable. Not a single one where it just got to 15-9. <laughs> Little has had enough. 2-2. Two, two. That's so fun. That came off the block. And if you're Claire Little, at first you think, oh, good, I can play this ball. And then you look at it and go, wow, that's a pretty good set. I'll take it myself. <laughs> 16 kills, 361, four digs for Claire tonight. For Marty, good pass up to Argentina Ung, Rebello. She blocks it. High again for Little. Cuts it. See her underneath. Roberto Robello with the kill. The Brazilian strikes again. 3 2. Robello's got a really strong arm. So even when she doesn't have the approach and the ball's behind her, she can muscle it to that deep corner. Terrific shot. Bring Covell. ASU with the point. Another great ace. So much float on that serve from Covell. Just barely cleared the net. It's the fifth ace of the match. Kemavor. Schroepat tried to get that with hands. That was coming in hot. <laughs> and Ulavi stepping in. Sticking that pass. And once you've been aced and you're in the passing lanes, 
getting a side out just becomes so much more important because you don't want to continue that run of points. Now we're at Cromarty. Full heat to a spot, sent back over by Mortensen. This time pounded. Cole Heath through the block, 5-3. Eight for 14, no errors. She runs one of the nicest slides in the country mm. because she's so quick and dynamic and can really accelerate off of that one foot. Jelly Sear, seventh straight double-double, by the way. Incredible. Off the block, a little. Boom. From Marty, inside of the block for ASU, 6-3, Sun Devils. And right now the defense for Arizona State picking up what they're doing is creating those opportunities. They haven't gotten a step block, but they've slowed down the BYU swings. They're transitioning those free balls, in essence, into points. Bauer back to Little. No touch. Board that were pretty on point as well. If you Venmo me, I'll tell you what she wrote. <laughs> Seven four. <laughs> She's frustrated by that. And that's why you call a timeout if you're uh, exactly. BYU trying you see to slow the down the serve. Coaches for BYU smiling. High five each other. High five. Play a little. Troll to Oom to Cromarty out. Interesting there, you see Cromarty really trying to almost force the line shot there. Mm. And going after set two, that was something Coach Van Niel said was working really well, and we haven't seen it come back. Maybe the passing hasn't quite been on that they can run that ball all the way to the pin, or they found other ways to score. But there it is again. Cuts it in this time, 8-5. And the speed again, Cromarty, only 5'9", right? She's not undersized one bit. She is just so physical there on the outside. Three seasons at Mississippi State. There to ASU. That's still alive? <laughs> I don't know what that point. was. Point, everyone looking at each other like, what's going on? Apparently no more lifts are going to be called. Ever. After the first <laughs> set there. Some fans not happy about it in the stands. Yeah, they were good on that. Boom had a platform. And it's called Instant. Off the block. There's Oong swinging, but out. You see that dynamic we've been talking about. Well, she hadn't even gotten off the net for an approach to transition, and she was still able to be so springy and get a good swing on that play. Uluave. What a pass. That was real low, but Jeter got it off the block. Pushed over. Nice. So she's gone line. She's cut it the other way. She's tipped it. You see... The shots in the toolbox for him. And you Shania saw from Marty. Yeah, and you saw in that play just how fun and, and hard if you're the blockers in, in defense for BYU because uh, Ung was a setter in that rally and a hitter. And a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that one tipped and goes down. 10 7. For Arizona State, first year in the Big 12. After all those years in the Pac-12, they used to be in the same league in the WAC. Way, it, we're talking late 60s when that transition happened. A lot of history between these two schools back then. Here we are like a million years later. 55-ish. But uh, you look at like serious history when they start to play, it's like, oh, they used to play basketball and football a ton. So it's fun to uh, renew that. Okay, prior with the tip, she doesn't tip a lot. Fire eight for 15, hitting 333. That's the kind of match BYU needs. Ooh, ooh, I think that was in. 50 bucks, would that do it for you? 100 bucks? It's, a, it's not rhetorical. Oh, oh really? Where, uh -huh. where am I standing? Am I at my house? No, you gotta be in the student section. Oh, see the problem is not the shark outfit, it's standing for two hours <laughs> in the student section. Good point. With the bench with no back support. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it in. I'm getting too old. Isn't that oh, awful? I'm getting too old for this. 12 8. 
Danny Glover vibes. Who's going to get this? Luave does in the end. Had to run from the back row. Sear, no touch. Point Brigham. And there's that creak of a door opening for Arizona State. This is where BYU has an opportunity to come back and try to fight their way back in, just like in the third set. The dad in me is just, oh, creak in the door? Give me the WD-40. I'll take care no, of this I mean in an like instant. No, I mean, like, opening a small... I know, but once I hear that creak, <laughs> I'm not going to have that, okay, in my house. Jeter off the block of Strong. Oh, Bauer goes on two. She does not do that very often. Back to Little. Back row attack. Or into the back row, rather. She's in the front row. 12, 10. Roy within two. And Little really got on that quick. It died a little bit inside, but there was such a big seam that Little was able to get on it and hit again deep. And that's something clear. That famous Beck to Harleen play. Well, and I think in a rivalry game, you know, anything can happen. And BYU Volleyball plays Utah again the night before. That'll so be a next fun week, weekend, it's rivalry, yeah. rivalry weekend. Say that three times. I know, I, I shouldn't yeah. have said it once, actually. It's a big time rivalry. 13 <laughs> 10. ASU, big point. Have the timeout. Jeter. Bauer goes to ground. Kept alive by Jelly Sear and Argentina Ung. Just on the net. Net bouncing, but that was because of the ball. Robello through the block. Arizona State trying to get this one to five. Great defense again from Sear. Keeping that ball alive. Look at this up. Diving. Just so smart. So talented. Utah 2-1 at Arizona. Excuse me, at home against Arizona. Salt Lake. Wrong. Stays on BYU's side after the deflection. Free ball from BYU. See, BYU's got to take a swing. Little. Bauer way out. It's not used to going on three there. In the era of women's sports at BYU, the cross country team is ranked number one. Women's soccer has gone to the College Cup two of the last three years. Women's volleyball has been amazing for a long time. It's pretty sweet. Softball continues to play well. 15-11 on the kill. Claire Little adds to her tally. Brielle Miller in. Two Brielles on the same BYU team, by the way. That guy to the left in the back, that's Justin Enna, the linebackers coach on the BYU football team. He comes to the matches quite a bit. High and out off the block from Jelly Sear. 13 kills, 14 digs. Her 49th career game with 10-plus kills. Steady as she goes. As you see, J.J. Van Neal, Pac-12 Coach of the Year last year. He'll carry that forever. That's right. Well, no. I guess the Pac-12 is yes. going to resurrect itself. That's, That's right. That's true. <laughs> my, my bad. Sorry, Utah State. Utah forgot, State in there, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy Utah State's in there. I think that's great. Off the block and then out from Kemavor as Arizona State looks to push this to five. You're up 2-1. And with that fifth set, just comes down to momentum. So if you're Arizona State, you just want to keep going. They're definitely in control. They're serving tough, and they've been able to transition, kill themselves into a really sizable oh, lead. Oh, it's going to come down hot. Schroll reads it well. She's played a bunch in this gym. She knows. Wow, what a swing by Sear. As Uluwave, that one outside the antenna. That's out. But great hustle from Uluwave. She's hurt. Oh, she's hurt. She hit her head on the chair. She's feeling for blood. Did she she didn't see any. And she up? just gave a thumbs up no. when she didn't see blood. I think you need a concussion <laughs> check there. What an amazing okay, effort. She, both hus sides. she hustles here and in the follow through, crashes in. Hopefully she's all right. It's got very quiet here in the Smithfield house. She's feeling her ear. That was Dan Graham, came over and checked on her. That entire time, Lulu saying, let's go. I'm back in, let's go. And she's the one that she got hit in that same side of her face <laughs> earlier with the yes. ricochet off of Claire Little. I mean, yeah. that was point blank, really hard driven ball. 18-11. A 
the system again for BYU. He's for 19. See you down the line. Out. Fifth hitting air for her tonight on 39 swings. Second to Claire Little's 46. 18-12. But if you're BYU, this is it, right? This is your time. You've got to make a run right here. Alex Bauer, freshman from Nampa, Idaho. Fourth Bauer sister to play at BYU. There's three younger ones in the pipeline. They all play and they're all good. So we'll see what the future looks like for them. See her. Good serve. Bauer has to, or excuse me, Pryor has to just swing at it. Cromarty smashes that one, 19-12. Cromarty with 12. Well, and this is kind of what we saw the first time these two teams played. Arizona State in control the whole time. BYU back on its heels. Can't find any sort of rhythm offensively. It's as if the Sun Devils are a step ahead, playing just a little bit faster, always on the offensive. Argentina Ung season high, 43 assists, and there's the ace. From Sierra, we said she was missing an ace. She just needs an assist now, and she'd have one of everything. Man, 21-12. This set all but over, it feels like, right now. You could feel it, actually. You know, you felt that BYU eh, maybe has given up a little bit. They've got to get it together, though, going into the fifth. Try and get some momentum. Even if you lose, just create just, some momentum so yeah. that it's like, all right, we're back to feeling like we're in a good spot. Get some confidence, get a pass up to the net, run something, find a rhythm. 19 kills for Claire Little tonight, down the line at Cromarty. Look at that perfect pass. Colheed, 22-13. Colheed with nine for 15, six blocks as well. And again, a beautiful slide, and you can see when you go off one foot, Colheed can pick it off at any point. She can hit the ball quick and hit it cross court or wait a little bit and go down the line because she's floating with it. 11th service error from ASU. Second in the Big 12 at 8-1. BYU in fourth, just a half game back of third. A win tonight would be big time for BYU in the Big 12 race. Kansas undefeated in Big 12 play so far. Lave tight from Mortensen. Free ball. Yes, you wanted to lift. Cromarty makes it no contest. 23-14. ASU dominating set four. Two points away from another set five for BYU. And after that second set where BYU just took control. Coach Van Niel said, hey, it doesn't matter the score, a set's a set, and I think BYU's gonna be telling their team the exact same thing. Fifth set, it starts at 0-0. Rebello, aggressive set across Cromarty, they'll reset off the block. Rebello off of the dome of Mortensen, set point ASU to get this to five. Pass up to Ung, Jeter is blocked. The reset in the middle for Jelly Sear. That is a heck of a play to open up the fifth set. And Argentina Ung just so aware of where her hitters are. Half of them are on the ground, right? So she knows, <laughs> hey, I've got to go excuse back me, excuse row, me. just really calm and cool and gets it to the perfect spot. Crowd making some noise. Jillian Neal off the bench. Bauer. Back across to Mortensen, just tips it over. Sear gets into it, but out. 1-1. One, one. That's a great win for BYU because that they aren't attacking the ball. They didn't put pressure on Arizona State in that play, and so they come out with a point off the miss hit from Sear, but they've got to be on the offensive and be on the attack. Troll, Oon. Sear, kept alive by Bauer. Little gets after it. Sear with another dig. Um, Rebello off of the block. Bauer to the ground, tipped. Sear, easy dig. Um, back to Sear, inside. Kept alive by Mortensen. 
Out of system swing from Bauer on three. Stroll high for Sear down the line. Mortensen in the back corner. Little. Bauer pushes Cromartie underneath. Jeter. A lot of clean, good swings from either team. Good defense. That was a good one, and Sear had a great dig. Rebello, only one blocker up. BYU trying to convert here. Long rally, tight on the net. Nope. Strong win up with the setter, and then Jeter wins the long rally and a big momentum moment. Who netted? Is that the ball? I mean, look how exhausted all these teams are, but something hit the net. Maybe it was the ball. I think it was the ball. <laughs> none I, because of the, Jeter was so tired, too. Right. Look at these middles. They can't even jump. That is the jump. ball. Yep. Great look. Great look from our amazing crew. 2-1. Crowd making some noise now. Right at Mortensen. That was a tough point to lose. Jeter with the dig. And then back over. Strong read it well. Sear misread it. 2-2. Two -two. Tough bounce. Great job by Strong to come back right after that super long rally where she was exhausted and came up with a big time kill down the line. Strong second on the team with 10 kills at 320 tonight. Real Miller. Sears steps in. Boom. Labello off the block and out. 3-2 ASU. Rebello just hits with so much control. She knows exactly where she's hitting. She sees the block in front of her, uses it. It just looks effortless. Rebello, six for 13, make it seven for 14 tonight. That's a season high. Free ball again. Sierra blocked by Kemavor. Tight on the net. Sear again, blocked by Bauer. Ooh, off of Little, still alive. To the back row, Cromarty high for Ung. All options here. BYU into the net. It was Kemavor, 4-2, free points. And that's again, just that lateral movement. So much hard work for all of these middle blockers. And Arizona State, even a two-point lead in this fifth set is huge. Bryn Covell. Mornson up to Bauer. Camavor. Into the seam between five and six, four, three. And she's got a double block on her every single time, but just continuing to hit those deep corners. Doesn't have to be a hammer, just high and deep. If you put it high enough, it's going to be hard to stop. Right. Six foot five out of Virginia. Good pass up to Ung. Slide, crushed. Cole Heat has been awesome tonight. No hitting errors. 11 for 17, hitting 588 to, with six blocks. So pretty, so smooth. Just, it's fantastic. Mm. Five three for the fighting. Nearly an ace, overpassed. Off the block again. 6-3, Sun Devils. Every point matters. Jilly Sear, 23 aces on the year. Was it Mortensen? Out of system for BYU. Little blocked and out. Big kill after the timeout by the Cougars. It's what the Cougars needed, but it can't just be the one. They've got to turn this into a couple of points. In that fifth set, you want to be the first to eight. You want to be the first to switch sides, feel like you're in control. 20th kill for Claire Little. Into the tape. 7-4, one more point for ASU to the switch. Unless BYU goes on a 4-0 run here. Fifth time with 20 plus kills this year for Claire Little. The leader on offense for the Cougars. Ace! And we will switch. Mary Schroll. They're trying to come back and win in five like they did against Utah. Strong puts it down. Nope! 
It was Oong with the block. It was, check that, into BYU's side of the court. Oong wins that matchup with Strong. 9-5, big point for the Huge Sun play. Devils right there. The serve caused an overpass. That should be a give me ball. And Oong steps in and makes a big play for her team. And she will serve the fifth year from Sonora, Mexico. That ball dipped for an ace. Wow. 10-5, Argentina Oong. ASU five points away. High for Pryor and inside. Schroll right there. To go up six. Uluave. Bauer trying to chase it and it was too far. 11-5. ASU. Sun Devils trying to get the series sweep on the season. Another poor pass. Free ball from BYU. Begging ASU to take the lead by seven with no good swings. Uluave doesn't get it up. 12-5, ASU rolling. Starts with the serve. We said coming into this it would be all about the serve and pass game and the serve for ASU has been fantastic at the latter stages of this match. BYU can't even get a swing on the ball. They'll get a swing here, Pryor. Off the block, still alive from Marty. Up and over, Pryor and down, 13-5. This one not gonna be decided by two, it would seem. <laughs> no, and the fourth set, all that momentum and that same feeling is just carried over into the fifth, credit Arizona State with keeping their foot on the gas. They've just rolled after losing that third set. Jelly Sear. 14-5, match point ASU, who are on a 6-0 run. Some of the BYU fans starting to leave. Match point, Argentina Ung. Strong. 14 6. 11 kills for Shersty. And this BYU team has battled, but Arizona State just stayed steady. There's a lot of seniors on this team, and they've figured out a way to finish strong. Match point two. Robella. Uluave, free ball. BYU not getting clean attacks. Jeter blocked by Strong. Off the block, into the back row. 14-7. Match point number three, 